people can harm you, but only if you let them shoot their arrows right at you. Words are a transfer of energy, and negativity can create anxiety, but society promotes anxiety to watch you go. Hey, what's up, guys? I just want to make a quick video about a simple exercise you can do to open up your receiving and willing emotional powers. Now, so basically, all you want to do is get your back on the Swiss ball. You want to be comfortable just by leaning on it. From here, you want to point your back head all the way back, allow it to just flow on the Swiss ball. Put your arms back like so. And allow your muscles to just hang and relax, including the muscles in your face. We get really trapped and caught up in the idea that our face is our presence. And the only thing our face is, is holds your eyes, but that's the way we see the world. Our whole body is our presence. Our energy is our presence. And by opening up your energy, you're able to run your chakras more smoothly. Just open and breathe like this. And once you do that for about 30 to seconds to a minute, you wanna switch it up and go on the other side, like so. Now from here, you want to pick your body up like this. And this is the similarity to the prone cobra. And uh, what this does, it allows your back muscles to be used. And these are your will muscles. These will, I will do that. I will. And the front part of your body is the portion where you can receive energy, such as you talk too low or um, anything positive or negative, like you're such a beautiful person and you receive that. And then the energy channels to be like, oh, you are too, you're so beautiful. Um, they come from the back. So our body is an expression of ourselves. And if you're not following me, you can ask me all your questions. So that's what the comment section is for. Do this for another 30 seconds and these are the variations. So if you don't have a Swiss ball, that is okay. Do this with me. Stand up, feet about slightly further than hip distance apart, and bend your knees. Fold your chest back like this, just like as you would if you were on the ball. Open your mouth, and then you're gonna put your hands behind your back. Alternatively, to get a deeper stretch, you can like stretch your face. And this will open up your vision, your hearing, your talking ability, your, your breath, your ability to breathe and communicate. And um, you wanna get rid of your ego. You wanna be able to just be the controller of your body. You don't want your body or emotions to control you. Okay, any questions, ask me below. So again, you can hold this for 30 seconds. It might hurt your neck at first, but that's okay. You want to breathe through it. It's going to hurt, guys. I had to go through it. We all do. You know, these years of hunching over really messes up our neck, and we have to strengthen it and stretch it back together. Open up your heart. Ultimately, you can afterwards go down below. And after that, you can do the prone cobra, which is basically the same thing that you did on the Swiss ball, except you do it without it. Make sure your wrists and your 
elbows are not in any pain or stress at all. Hold yourself up with your shoulders and pick yourself up with your back. Your willing muscles. If you're weak there, you gotta take more action in life, my friends. Stop being afraid. Stop letting your mind to make you think things. Go after your dreams. Go after the sexy girls. Everything. Be yourself. In this world where you can be anything, be yourself. You can come to a child's pose, which is just going like this and releasing. Forehead on the ground. Your mother earth. Don't be afraid of her. She's here to love you. Just like the world. Don't let your mind think differently. After this, you can go take a shower, eat some food, or work out, get some business work done, uh, go spend time with your family, give them love, and without any further ado, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next challenge for your heart, health, emotion, and relationship treatment.